In this video, let us learn about the properties that were left in the previous unit. So the properties are commutative property, then let us learn about associative property property and then we are going to learn about distributive property then we are going to learn about problems so the first one is commutative of addition now let us consider three whole numbers so that is 3 5 and 7 now you will have to add these three whole numbers you can add this as 3 plus 5 plus 7 or you can also add it as 3 plus 7 plus 5 or you can also write it as 7 plus 5 plus 3 now in this case what commutative property means when the numbers are added in whichever order you will have to get the same answer now let's see what it means that is 3 plus 5 plus 7 what would 3 plus 5 plus 7 give you 3 plus 5 plus 7 would give you 15 that is 3 plus 5 is 8 and 8 plus 7 is 15 now similarly what will 3 plus 7 plus 5 that is 3 plus 7 would give you 10 and 10 plus 5 would give you 15 in the same fashion how would you add this 7 plus 5 would give you 12 and 12 plus 3 would give you 15 in all these three cases you can notice that the answer is same and this is commutative property of addition now let us see commutative property of multiplication Commutative property of multiplication. So, what does this mean? This means the same as commutative property of addition, except it is called multiplication. That's all. That is, when two numbers or more than two numbers are multiplied with any order, you have to get the same answer. Now, let's take for an example 2 into 3 into 4 that is this could also be written as 2 into 4 into 3 or 3 into 4 into 2 now as the cumulative states the answers has to be same now let us see if the answers are same so what would you get if you multiply 2 into 2 2 into 3 is 6 6 4 is a 24. In the same fashion, what is 2 4s are 8, 8 3s are 24. And similarly, 3 4s are 12 and 12 2s are 24. So, you get the same answer, therefore, cumulative law is achieved. So, you can notice that the whole numbers satisfy cumulative properties of addition and multiplication only. Understand addition and multiplication only but not subtraction or division now let us go about seeing associative law of addition and multiplication so now let's start with associative property of addition so associative property of addition So, what this associative property of addition means? Let us consider the numbers, for example, 2 plus 3 plus 4. How would you add 2 plus 3 plus 4? The first method for adding 2 plus 3 plus 4 is add the first number together, thereby I am keeping it in brackets. And above the brackets were discussed in the first chapter. So, 
Now what does the bracket operation tells is you will have to do the operations in the brackets first and then do the rest of the operations. Therefore you get 2 plus 3 is 5 and the rest of the number is plus 4. So therefore 5 plus 4 would give you 9. So what does associative property tells is no matter however you add the given set of numbers the answers has to remain same. Therefore, this can be written as 2 plus 3 plus 4 and then you change the bracket to the last two numbers that is you add the last two numbers first and then the first two numbers. Therefore, the answer you get will be 2 plus 3 plus 4 would give you 7 therefore 2 plus 7 would still end up giving you 9. So, this is what associative property of addition means. No matter in whichever add order you add a series of addition numbers, you still get the same answer. So, now let us go about seeing associative property of multiplication. So, associative property of So what is associative property of multiplication means? This is the same as associative property of addition except that you will have to multiply it instead of adding it. So now let us see how associative property of multiplication is. Now consider the same example that is 2 into 3 into 4. How would you multiply this? Now let's put the first two numbers in braces. So, as the braces law, you will have to do the operations inside the brackets first. So, what does 2 into 3 gives you? 2 into 3 would give you 6 and the multiplication of the rest is into 4. So, 6 into 4 would give you 24. Now, as per the associative law, this can also be written as 2 into 3 into 4 and then you notice that I am shifting the bracket to the next two numbers that is the last two numbers and if your answer remains same associative property of multiplication is obeyed by whole numbers. So what does 3 into 4 gives you? 3 into 4 will give you 3 into 4 will give you 12 and into 2 is what's left. So 2 into 12 is 24. So you can see that 24 is equal to 24. Therefore, associative property of multiplication is obeyed by the whole number. So, let's recall what associative property of multiplication means. No matter in whichever order you multiply a given set of numbers, you end up giving the same answer. Now, let us go about seeing the next property that is distributive property of multiplication. So let us go on to the next topic that is distributive property of multiplication over addition. So let's start. How would you solve this equation that is 2 into 3 plus 4 in braces. So how would you solve 2 into 3 plus 4 in brackets. That is 3 plus 4 has to be multiplied with 2. So this could be done in two ways. The first way is that you use bracket operation that is you do the operations inside the brackets first. So, 3 plus 4 would give you 7 and then the 2 that is which is outside the bracket is 2. So, this would give you 2 into 7 is 14. But, this could also be done using distributive property of multiplication. Let's see how this goes. The distributive property means the number outside the bracket has to be multiplied to the numbers inside the bracket not just one but all the numbers inside the bracket that is in this case 2 has to be multiplied with 3 and then 2 has to be multiplied with plus 4 and you write it distributed form so when when you distribute this what you get is 2 into 3 that is 2 into 3 plus 
2 into 4 that is 2 into 4 and this plus sign is the operation that is here so when you solve this you get you should get the same answer that is 2 into 3 is 6 2 into 4 is 8 and the plus sign is carried here so 6 plus 8 would give you so now let's do a visual proof of this thing in the same way now the, now to do that let's take the things inside the bracket that is 3 plus 4 so let's take 3 cross 1 2 3 so this 3 represents the 3 here inside the bracket plus 4 1 2 3 4 so this is what is exactly in the bracket that is 3 plus 4 3 x is plus 4 x is and now because it's multiplied with 2 I will write this same thing again that is x x x now this is what this equation exactly is 2 times of 3 plus 4 that is I repeated this 2 times of 3 x is plus 4 x is the distributive property works like this by grouping the 3 here first and then I group this Fours here first. So you would write it as 1, 2, 3 into 1, 2, 3. So there are 2 times of 3. So 2 into 3 and the sign is carried the same way. And then you write the rest that is 2 times of 4. So you would get the same thing 6 plus 8 and that would give you 14. So this is the distributive property of multiplication over addition, which means distributing the numbers outside the bracket into the number inside the bracket with the addition sign or the subtraction sign whichever is given to you in the question so now let us go about solving few problems based on these properties so okay the first problem goes like this the school canteen charges rupees 20 for lunch and 4 for milk each day how much money do you spend in 5 days on these things? So that's the question given to you and you'll have to solve this in any method, any method that is known to you. So let us solve it in 2 methods. This, this problem could be solved in 2 problems. One is the normal method and one is using the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So now the basic step as taught before underline the important terms rupees 20 for lunch rupees 20 for lunch and then rupees 4 for milk each day and how much for 5 days so these are the important terms in this question that is needed for us and the rest all is useless so now let's solve this by the first method so what is the cost for lunch 20 so 20 into the number of days is 5 so let me write 5 into 5 plus plus the cost for milk is 4 rupees 4 rupees into 5 so that is the number of days so 20 rupees for 5 days plus 4 rupees for 5 days and you would get the total amount for all 5 days so 20 into 5 would give you 100 plus 4 into 5 would give you 20 so that would be like 120 for 5 days so that is rupees 120 for 5 days now let us solve this using the distributive law so the distributive law will go like this let's take the cost for each day first now for for one day you would spend 20 rupees for lunch and 4 rupees for milk 20 plus 4 now the total days is 5 days so the total day would be 5 days so now what you will have to do is use the distributive law and find the total so the distributive law would go like this that is you multiply the sum into the number of days so it is 20 plus 4 into 5 days so that's how the distributive law goes 
So when you apply distributive law, you have to dis you will have to distribute the number outside to the numbers inside. So five into twenty plus five into four. So how much would that give you? Five into twenty would give you hundred, and four into five would give you twenty. So hundred plus twenty would give you one twenty. So that's the answer. So you can use any of these two method to solve, but this is using the distributive property. That is, this is distributive.